Hey everyone and welcome back to Tiny Zoo and you might be surprised but we start with a little bit of a time lapse and uh, the reason being is the same as always. Um, I'm still in Spain but this is the last episode recorded from Spain actually here in Tiny Zoo. Um, today we are going to look at the Sea Lion Bay as I call it and I had this idea briefly uh, when we were building the Prairie Dog Habitat that this little bit of a you know um, walkway down into this uh, underground viewing is well, it would be kind of lost if it's only for the prairie dogs because you do have quite a bit of view from above anyways. Um, so I thought, you know, it would be good to see something down there as well. And now we turn the sea lion habitat there. And I think um, it was really good to make this a speed build um, because I did also cut out a lot um, simply because I just felt like this is uh, not really interesting and there was a bit of fuzz going on with the pathing and, you know, just all this kind of nit bits um, that sometimes are a little bit annoying. Uh, as you guys wished, I will do include this in some of the time lapses for the bigger project, but as this is still a franchise, uh, you know, this is it. I will not include all of it because it just kind of, you know, it, it's not really that important. But what is more important is that this habitat over here really fits in very well into this corner, and I'm quite happy with how that turned out. I think it looks really beautiful the way it is. Um, I think the way it just kind of is hugged by the ways and the pathing and, you know, how it integrates with all the other layouts here here is really cool and I'm also very happy it worked with the predefined uh, layout the way it was. Um, obviously the new viewing um, stands are just as amazing as always so we can basically connect them really nicely in there and also what we can do and this is what I'm actually loving the most is um, we can really make this a good education corner and <laughs> we are definitely in the need of more education in this zoo. Um, let me just also talk a couple of minutes about this zoo zoo project in general like I when I started Tiny Zoo, and I think I, I talked about that quite often already, but I never expected it to be such a big thing. It was mainly 99% only for me because I wanted to play this game again with the focus on the word play, um, gameplay, and just keep in mind how it actually works. If it's realistic or not, that's a different debate, but I really wanted to make sure that I play the game and I get a grip again of all the controls and all the mechanisms for the stuff and you know, the main purpose was this video about the casual way of playing the game, um, just so I know again what I'm talking about. And uh, it turned out to be such a good series for all of us. You guys seem to have a good time. And please let me know in the comments down below if you do have a good time. You know, with all of your feedback and everything, it doesn't only help the algorithm, it does help to shape this series and I love that. I also heard a lot of people um, that they wanted to bring in blueprints again. And I, you know, the thing is, why I stepped away from, from this idea is that it just kind of got a little bit in the way of making this stuff because I always need to wait for all the blueprints and it, as much as I love to do it and also that was the previous franchise zoo we had running, it always meant that I had to wait until I had enough blueprints and since not that many people sent in blueprints, it, it got more or less like always the same people, which don't get me wrong, I love the fact that they keep on doing stuff and it's really really amazing but that's not really the idea behind it to also get a lot of different people in um, and this is the main reason why I stepped away from that but I do have the plan to include some stuff in this zoo as like the finishing process so this zoo won't get beyond the boundaries we've set ourselves this is part of it the layout was set at the very beginning as the idea to bring in as much as possible um, you will hear now um, in the in the real time part you will hear a couple of things that I will change. There is a need uh, to change a couple of things, which is where I will need your feedback on as well, but that's for a later episode. Um, but I definitely want to bring your stuff in as well. And this will mainly happen with um, focusing on what is missing once every habitat is done. And then I want to make a huge live stream that is going to be turned into, let's say, two or three episodes here on YouTube, which is not only focusing on the naming, as I promised, but also on your blueprints. But this will be announced on a later stage. But what you can already do if you want to, you can already make your mind up um, about things that this zoo really needs. And I can already tell you that it will be more than 50% about the backstage stuff, okay? Because this is Tiny Zoo and Tiny Zoo is meant to be really using 
the most of the space given i need to ensure that also some little things are in here as well so if you guys have ideas for shops or uh, vending machines or whatever you can definitely prepare that already in the style of this african desert zoo um the style won't change this is african desert zoo and this will stay the way it is of course we do have the northern america area here but it's just like very very slightly changed in terms of theming uh, just very very subtle and that's also going to stay the way it is um, I'm, I'm not planning to have you more styling than this but yeah so um, that's what I wanted to talk about uh, in general about this project and about the sea lion lagoon uh, just a couple of words to it again I, I think it's a very straightforward one we've been um, a couple of days ago in Valencia in the Oceanographic I have no idea if that was pronounced right or not but it's a big um, aquarium it's not that big but it's a it's a great aquarium it's one of the highest certified aquariums in the world in fact also the only one in Europe to have a beluga in there which is a beautiful animal I love it um, and it's also you know talking about this is also always um, focusing on how much they do for conservation and this is one of the best zoos when it comes to that it's pretty expensive also to get in there but you know you know where the money goes and that's um, one of the reasons why we did it um, but also in general like most of the habitats are really good even though I have to say some of them could be better but I took some inspiration from there as well and I made sure that the sea lion habitat is a bit you know um, themed now well it's not really themed after that but it's um, they have also kind of nice uh, area for them and I just thought you know what this one's even bigger I built here but um, I just wanted to make sure that we have also this underground where they can swim below the passing and then just on the other hand side you have like the little bay and then this little corner where I can go onto this floating platform just to have them a bit in the spotlight and you know that's the idea but yeah other than that it's just meant to be like a little show where you can do some education for them um, you've got this uh, little pier where they can climb on and that's all about it you know put some little plants here and there just making it look a tiny bit more beautiful um, and that is all about it so I hope you guys enjoyed this little voiceover and now you can enjoy a couple more minutes of real time part fixing some issues putting keepers in and all that franchise stuff so enjoy. Alrighty, welcome into today's real time part and you know it's a bit of a different one obviously to the normal franchise build but I think it's cool to have the speed build of this wonderful habitat I think it turned out really cool um, and we're doing the boring stuff now in here actually it's not really that of much of a boring stuff I think it's really cool and we do need to put some keepers in now and I do actually want to put one each for the meerkat and the uh, sea lion because this one will require maybe a couple more for over here I want to build another hub on this side um, but now let's just put the keepers in because we definitely need to keep track of this so we're gonna put one here and another one here same goes for whoops uh, each caretaker one and two and then we are going to also put down a mechanic who is basically going to this area and then uh, let's quickly put play there you go and now we are going to assign you just hanging around uh, da -da 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 to a new work zone which is going to be this area uh, oops is that one included no it's not okay so we're going to say this is going to be the oh that's actually not the uh, meerkat the prairie dog so prairie dog enter and uh, you are basically also going to work in the prairie dog area only that doesn't work though the mechanic is basically getting its own area which is going to be first of all reducing the wage and then going to have this entire area here so he's got, not going to have a workshop in there, but I think it's... Oh, is there a workshop? No, I think it's not like facilities. Do, 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 do. No, but there is a lot of other stuff for him. Okay, so this is um, Mechanic North, I'm going to call that. I will never ever recall what that means, but it's okay. So this is Mechanic North, that's fine. And now you are going to get a new habitat as well. This is that area here. This is going to be, oops, uh, the sea lions. And um, 
our wonderful friend the uh, Dina Noonan is also going to become member of the oops sea lions where are you sea lions awesome gonna reduce your wage over here just a tiny bit there you go and I think this is all good you know this is now set all in we are going this is a, okay this is still the same issue facility out of <laughs> what is that thing even doing here let's delete that one incomplete track monorail we don't even need to focus on that one this is just like to pretend them from walking over i think i can even delete this by now um actually you know what i can i can just go down here and delete the monorail we don't even need this anymore so let's click uh well that was that was close i want to click this monorail three and monorail two okay because we don't need them anymore this was a little trick to not make them not pass through here um, and make the guest walk through but it didn't work and now with the bridge which still is a bit ugly and i still want to change it so yeah this is definitely actually this is still the issue over here that they can escape right so i'm gonna put you move you over and i'm gonna move this uh water pipe thing which is ridiculous oh my god this is part of this building why even I'm gonna move this over here I'm not sure if that's a block so i'm just going to do it that way and i'm not going to use this one over here as a little block to not make them escape anymore i think that was the basic issue i will definitely get rid of the bridge at some point and do something else which i have no idea what but we will do this so low welfare what's your issue social space critical wait wait how and why is that uh, excuse me where are you even this makes no sense at all because no um excuse me but you are not there right who who are you but it's all good isn't it what about you uh, that's just a mistake of the game because you are totally in the habitat what is that even i mean there you go this this is all this is all what we have and Okay, that is so weird. I hope that doesn't uh, happen too often because that's not really cool. Okay, so still that is the issue. Um, let's quickly click these things away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Confirm all of that. This is awesome. You need a quarantine? I guess I don't, but okay. And what is the feeding station cannot be reached this is the forage thingy up here yeah i know i still have an issue with the with the ringtail lemurs anyways um for whatever reason i'm gonna build one quarantine just so the game stops annoying me where shall i put the quarantine to not make it look too shabby i think i'm gonna put this all the way behind this one here um not sure if they will bring animals into the quarantine right now but i just need to Put it down somewhere here oh my god i can't oh i can't connect this never mind let's put put this down here i just want to get rid of that one okay so this is happening all the time is it yeah i mean okay so we do have that issue that these animals always get trapped over here which i really don't get why because honestly this is where they can swim through and then they for whatever reason beam themselves up or what do they even do i mean because they come out of here so I don't get that. I have no idea how to solve that, to be honest. I really don't, but we will have a look into that. So these all have low welfare. This is all done. My God, there's so much to do in the zoo. I think the next episode, guys, is, is just basically, okay, let's delete this thing. I don't want to do this anymore. And we will also get rid of all ringtail lemurs out of this habitat because they mostly are stressed till the end of day. And uh, look, I mean, this space, navigatable climbable area see i will change this whole area now and we'll basically try to get a new lemur habitat in because that is just not really feasible the way it is and i i, I like the idea of having them go through here and so on you know um it's it's still one of my Oh, maybe I'm going to fix this habitat in general. I think I'm going to fix this habitat. But first of all, I'm going to bring all animals out of this habitat and bring them somewhere else. That the lemur habitat animals? Yeah. Let's grab all and put them all into the trade center. Okay, we've done this. And now the only thing I wanted to still do is just go quickly through the list of animals to see what is going on. Because I remember that there was a lot of welfare issues. See, there you go. This is the first thing we have. So we've got all these wonderful terrapins and we are just going to keep two. Uh, let's keep 
let's keep those two because they are both gold i mean that everyone is gold but it doesn't matter okay let's get rid of all of them are they all in the same exhibit five yeah okay so five is fine and we can also quick trade them right from over here which is brilliant gonna give us twelve thousand money uh you are being you are being what you're being brought to the habitat what's your issue though what is your issue? Why is your welfare not good? Oh, we'll have a look into that later. Um, good, I can't. And the rest is basically doing all good, which is great. I wanted to also focus on making sure that we do have a bit of a um, better overall rating of the animals. So what we have to do, unfortunately, is we have to keep some of the uh, well-rated animals. And then um, we basically have to get some better ones from the market. But at the moment, the problem that we have is... Um, simply that we don't have that much uh, credits and this is why we have to go to our storage and we have to basically sell some animals so basically what I'm going to do is I can't I can only rehome you okay let's rehome uh, this no 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 let's rehome her I want to basically get rid of all the animals in here I just don't want to spend all the time you know doing other stuff um and for the ringtail lemur what i'm going to do is i'm just going to keep one um okay i can quick trade you quick trade you too and i'm gonna let me just first of all check the trades of them okay so i'm gonna keep no I, i'm not oh wait no i'm gonna keep uh nyansa or how does it even pronounced and i'm gonna quick trade all of you see you later that is done okay and now we have to unfortunately get rid of some thompson's gazelle wait um why isn't that in oh this is a pronghorn okay i can get rid of this one so you can see i can release them to the wild that doesn't really give me much but what i will do now is i'm gonna go into this rating over here and you can see we've got that little lion um which is a female one i just changed some things about the lion anyways we've got that one which um is not even uh mature yet so mature enough i should say so we can't get all of these babies but what we can do is this bengal tiger for over here for example this is brilliant you know the only question is since i only have one i want to keep that we've got some red pandas over here we can get rid of um we've got the salties um but all of them are not mature with so many babies in here see this is this is crazy i cannot get this one away and then see if we can find anyone else here um we can maybe get okay let's first of all go to age and then see can we also check for maturity? I think we can't, right? No, we can only check for age. There's like not really that much animals I can really get rid of, you know, to, to make some leave money. I guess I can do this over here to get some. Um, and yeah, the only thing I can do is breed now and, and try to get rid of uh, some of the lions and stuff. This is exactly what I did. Um, I'm not sure if the lion is already in. Let me check. I, I sold some lions and I got the better ones in. We just have to wait now until they... Uh, grow up you can you can see these are the three we have in here I'm just gonna quickly show you the appeal and the appeal is brilliant and we do have Eichenstrasse and Tiny Zoo so they can basically mate both and as soon as uh, we have this line down here matured we need to get uh, one sold which is uh, going to be Adebayo and Chion Nesu is going to stay with us and hopefully these two are going to make some babies actually while I see that I can basically bring in the other one I have this is another female so I think this is a brilliant idea to bring that one in as well uh, into our lion habitat because otherwise they will have some issues in terms of uh, two less animals in there so we should definitely do this um, yeah the artwork is another issue we have that we can quickly solve by and this is something that you guys mentioned and I totally f I think I did this once um, but I just never actually finished this so what I need to do is first of all oops nope that was the wrong the wrong click um, this is not going to be a habitat perimeter and now I should be able to, I can't connect this, but this is no habitat perimeter, so why would you even, okay, let's just make this and this, and I, why can I not put this down, what's the issue, obstructed, you tell me obstructed, why is that obstructed even, so first of all, no, that's all good, that's all good, I can't, I can't, why can I not, can I just drag that longer, yes, I can, okay, well, never mind, if that's, if that's working, I'm gladly taking that and now let's do the same 
over here. That doesn't work. That's a pity. But I can do it that way and then hopefully connect this. Uh, I can't connect this. Okay, can I connect this then like so? Wait, there was something I, I should be able to connect. No, I'm not. Okay, well, I'm just going to drag that all the way over here as much as I can. And I have all these signs over here. But it seems that people don't really care about this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this below ground. And I'm just going to put some more down. I know that for a fact that they are have they have quite a good a decent range but it seems not to be that great um maybe we also need to make sure that this down here is whoops no hey hello i want to check that barrier thank you so much this is that one maybe we have to do that in one side glass as well and change it to the other side there you go okay not sure if this is gonna help by any means um but we will see what about this glass is this by the time looking at it it's not. Okay, we can definitely do this now. Um, good stuff here and the good stuff. Oh my god. Okay, I thought I didn't do these two, which is hopefully one of the bigger issues we had. So that should help a lot with the stress level of these animals. Okay, let's hit play again. Um, the meerkat's all doing good. There's still a lot of fuss going on there. Nice. Um, hopefully this stress level is going to get better now. Okay, it's not. <laughs> it's it's really not. Um, how about your social? Okay, social. It's going to get better now with this, but in general, I think I will need to get rid of the artworks by the time. Because this habitat also doesn't really work. Let's say quickly hi, so Nick T. And Enorgs, look, <laughs> I love that name. Um, Momowom, hello, and a wonderful telephone number. Okay, so cool. We've done this, everything is fine. We're gonna have some offspring from the prairie dogs, which is great. Not sure if we can get some good animals from them. There's also no enrichment and no donation box over here, right? We definitely need to up our game when it comes to making money. Animal has escaped, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna pause the game because I first of all want to put down donation boxes everywhere. We need the money. We need the money, guys. We need the money of the guest for our animals. Okay, so I'm gonna put another one right over here. Not sure if I missed some anywhere else, but now I put some down. Okay, so animal has escaped. Evelyn, the American alligator. That's no fun, by the way. Uh, excuse me? Oh, this is because there was the tree. Yeah, no, that is um, <laughs> not a good idea to keep it that way. Oh, they look so beautiful, don't they? They, The baby alligators really look beautiful. Not gonna lie. Okay, so emergency capture. I do have the money, so that's all good. And hey, can I click this somehow? This is a pretty big box. Uh, okay, but this is done because alligators are not great if they do escape. Low welfare. This is the same issue again, right? I don't get this. And I've no idea how to solve it. I mean, they're even swimming now in here. And the... Um... Yeah, I, I, I really have no idea, guys, how to solve that. I mean, the only thing is just moving them back into the habitat all the time. But that's just, you know... It's nice that it works this way, but it, it, it really annoys me that they seem to be... Yeah, just getting down there. I'm not sure if it helps if I just get rid of those down here. One row less. I mean, see, I have no clue if that helps, but I will certainly do it, hoping that it will help. Maybe this is too close and they just get trapped with this. I don't know. Um, and I also wanted to, just to make the, the lower area look better, just to get some of these. Uh, wait, wait. I, am I in this thing? Oh, yeah, I am see okay and then i wanted to do something like that you know i could also use the random rotation wait i do i do have it okay so let's put some down blah 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 and see if that works i have no clue but that should be it for today's episode from the real time part i really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did i certainly did enjoy the time lapse a lot and the real time part um there's a couple of things we need to fix but this will be happening in the next episode so thank you for your ongoing support again if you guys want to help me reach these 60,000 subscribers um please do subscribe if you haven't already we are only a couple of hundreds uh, away from this uh, magical next milestone so thank you so much for your ongoing support. I talk to you in the next one. Have a great time and goodbye.